in this video today, I'm going to go over how, well, how you can do a couple things with Ledger Live. This all came about because I got a new computer and I have a bunch of old accounts in Ledger Live that I want to move over um, instead of having to do it the old fashioned way, which is um, when you have a new computer, whether or not you have a desktop and then you add a laptop into your life and you want those accounts on your laptop or if you have a desktop and in my case replaced my desktop with a new one um, I want to take my ledger live with everything that I've accumulated and I want to port it over to the new I uh, got a Mac studio and you know I, I don't want to have to add them all in separately the other part of this which goes along the same lines is that I want to be able to back up my database. I had my, my Ledger Live database, my Ledger Live data, basically. Um, I had one issue where, uh, this is a couple months ago, where I did an update and it appeared that the update went well. And when I opened Ledger Live up, everything was gone. I had to start from scratch. I still haven't had uh, all the accounts added back in. Um, because where we are in the, the market right now, if you're watching this later, eh, this is the 1st of August, 2022. It's not really that fun in the crypto space. You know, have we seen a bottom? I don't know. We'll, we'll know more later. But um, so I'm going to show you what file you can take and you can back up. So in case you lose all your accounts on an upgrade or in case you lose a desktop and your files are not backed up, um, you can... Uh, you know, copy what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you both on Windows on and on Mac. Mac first and then Windows. And you can back these files up um, to uh, an external device, which is what I recommend. You know, my cybersecurity class goes how you can encrypt this stuff and, and how you can put it on a thumb drive and keep it safe or in a safe place, that kind of thing. Um, that I will probably add a little snippet of this as an addition to what needs to be backed up. So, okay, I, I've had enough of that. Let's go and take a look at how you need to back things up. So what you're gonna need to do, I'm gonna show you on the Mac first. Uh, let's get this. Oh, that's Windows. There's the, okay, let's go to the Mac hard drive. Um, this is my Mac hard drive. And the files that you're going to need to back up, let me move this up a little bit, um, are in this path. So if you don't know how to, um, to show hidden drives, hidden files, on the Mac, you're going to do shift, command, period, and it will show things and it'll hide things. So I'll just do it here as an example. You know, you can Google this if you want, but if I do shift, command, period, it will hide all of the files that you should not touch, you should not throw away, you shouldn't manipulate. But because where these files live, you're going to need to get into hidden files, we're going to do command, sorry, shift, command, period, and all the hidden files are uh, show up. And so what you want to do, this is the path the path will be displayed down here. Your Mac may or may not show that path, but basically you want to go into users. Uh, this user is CryptoLab, then, well, let's start from the beginning. Um, users, then you go into the user itself, then you go into libraries. And within libraries, there's something called application support. Application support is a good directory to, uh, to know about, uh, especially if you're doing crypto. And the reason for that is, all your database stuff for crypto, um, like if you were running this as a Bitcoin node and you had gigs and gigs and gigs of blockchain information, this is where it would be stored. Not in, unless you chose a, a custom area, which I do all the time now if I have a, a core um, wallet. But if you didn't and you just decided to delete the um, the application, the, the Bitcoin uh, core wallet, all the data would still be in here. So you would have gigs and gigs and gigs of data 
that's just sitting on your drive that you're never using. So this is a good one to know, but you gotta know what you're doing also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into right now, it's Mac hard drive users, the user that you log in with, library, application support, and then we're going to look at Ledger Live. This is the file that you're gonna need. Um, you'll see all these uh, different things in here. Yours will probably show more. Uh, I, well, you can see up here, I did a backup of my original one because I don't want to show you. Um, and so I renamed this. You could also delete it and it will start a new one when you open Ledger Live. So you'll see something close to this um, with you know not as many files. I'll just go into this a little bit. As compared to this, this is my old one where app.json and then you know a series of numbers. Um, I also had a bunch of backup, sorry, update files that were just kind of backed up here, which I deleted and because um, I didn't really need them. So my file size, my real file size right now is, uh, I'll bring it over here, um, 4.27 gigs. So it's not small, but the that's my old one that's been around for a while. The new one, just starting fresh, is 7.5 megabytes. So there is a really uh, a, quite a big difference. So that's going way too deep in what you need to know, but I just wanted to show you that. So this is the file that you're gonna back up. All you really need to do, take this file, copy it onto your removable hard drive, copy it onto um, an archive. This will have everything that you need. Um, it'll copy over the password that you have when you log in to Ledger Live. It'll copy over your applications, et cetera, et cetera. Or sorry, your, not your applications, but your accounts um, there. What you want to make sure, though, that you do is that here's Ledger Live, um, fresh install. But what you want to make sure that you do is when you copy the new folder over, to the new computer, make sure they are running the same version. So you can go into settings, you can go to about. Make sure you're running the same version um, so that there's not a compatibility issue. Um, also, when you finish, you copy everything over to the new drive, uh, go ahead and do the run the clear cache and it'll kind of rebuild things. Um, one of them, there was a, an issue, and uh, one there wasn't. Clearing the cache seemed to be able to sync things up really well, and you were good to go. So that's kind of showing you on the Mac side. Um, on the Windows side, you will find the file under whatever, you know, this is called here, the OS, users, your username, app data, and roaming. These are also hidden files, so you need to uh, to show them. Um, you need to find them, or you can just do a uh, you know, basically use this, and um, it'll get you into that uh, file, so you can see things. And once again, here is Ledger Live, and you can copy this directory. And if you're going to um, copy it into the new place, just go in delete all the old if it's there, um, and then copy the new data. But make sure if you have a fresh install of Ledger Live, start it once so it creates this folder. Um, the folder name yeah, could be really key, and so I don't delete the folder, I delete the contents within the folder. Oops, so um, let's go in here. Oh, I guess I have to go to the side. Um, but this is, you know, back to, this is the, the folder that you're going to, uh, to need to replace. And, um, you know, that's, that's kind of it. Um, but it was good to know that you can back up the, um, the data. Uh, you can save it someplace. And so instead of having to manually go in, um, as we spend more and more time in the crypto space, as we replace hardware, as we add hardware, you can back up these data files 
and restore them and not have to go through the pain of adding all those separate accounts. The only account I have on this account or this um, this version of Ledger Live is one that I added so that um, that you could kind of see. But that's about it. Oh, I you know one last thing. I did try this before uh, making this video. I tried to copy all the data files that Ledger Live directory or folder from the Mac and put it on the PC. And I was able to log in with the same password, um, but none of the accounts were, were there. So going cross platform from Mac to Windows, Windows to Mac, I don't think it's gonna really work. I think you're gonna have to manually add them in, um, but going on the same platform, moving the, the files, you really shouldn't have a, an issue with that. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.